Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the process of DNA replication. Now DNA replication is a fairly simple process and we're going to go over when replication occurs, the process itself and the products that come from that replication. So it shouldn't be too hard to get your heads around. Firstly, replication occurs during the interphase S stage of a cell's lifetime. So this is before it undergoes meiosis or mitosis, depending on the process that we're about to lead into. And it results in 4N chromosomes. This is a diagram sums up the whole process, but we'll go through each part in a little bit more detail. So the first thing to happen is an enzyme called DNA helicase comes through and unzips the base pairs. So what it does, it dissolves the hydrogen bonds between the bases, leaving us with two exposed strands of DNA. And this is called a replication fork. So secondly, these exposed bases attract their complementary bases, which are floating around as free nucleotides within the nucleus. Then another enzyme called DNA polymerase goes along the two strands of DNA and joins up the sugar phosphate backbone to complete uh, the replication. And due to the anti-parallel nature, so that's the three, five, uh, three prime, five prime nature of DNA, the enzyme needs to work in different directions on each one of the strands. Uh, so we end up with this uh, leading strand, which it gets made as it goes, and a lagging strand where it actually has to, the enzyme has to go forward in the DNA, then work backwards, uh, making the DNA in these little uh, sections Kodazaki fragments. The process of replication is referred to as semi conservative, and the reason we call it semi conservative is that it results in two identical copies of the DNA. And each of those copies has one strand from the original DNA and one new strand. So half of the DNA from the original strand is conserved and split between the two new strands. In this video, we've looked at when replication occurs, being in the interphase S stage of growth, part to mitosis or meiosis. And we've looked at the process, being it gets the DNA is unzipped by the DNA helicase, an enzyme forming a replication fork with two strands of exposed bases. Free nucleotides come along and join to the complementary bases on those two strands. And then DNA polymerase joins the sugar phosphate backbone of those free nucleotides, creating our two new strands of DNA. These two new pieces of DNA contain half or one of those strands uh, from the original DNA molecule, meaning that this process is semi-conservative.